Fiverr is a popular site for freelancers to offer their services for $5. And this is how they derive their name. From the day they were launched until today, there are over 3 million services available on their website by now. Fiverr is a potential platform to earn massive incomes as well as a competitive platform. How can you possibly bring your profile up to the homepage and generate more traffic among the 3 million services? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Utilizing the social platform is definitely a great way to generate traffic to your profile. Social media advertising is always the go-to platform to promote your gigs. You can promote your gigs on social media channels such as Facebook and Twitter. You can create your own Facebook page so that whenever you update a gig on Fiverr, you could post an ad on your page. Another advantage to creating your own Facebook page is that you could possibly create your own community with targeted audiences. Every single visitor that visits your page could be your potential customer and eventually your long-term client. At the same time, you can join the groups or forums that are related to Fiverr. Once you're connected to the group, you can post ads to promote your gigs. Beyond Facebook and Twitter, where you can post your ads to promote your gigs, you can also create Pinterest pins, Instagram photos, and even YouTube videos. These are great platforms that you can fully utilize to promote your gigs. The next method to generate traffic is by accumulating positive reviews from your buyers. The more positive reviews you get from them, the more likely you will be visited by other buyers. Visitors are now comparing the star ratings of sellers before they buy your service. Your star rating is an essential factor that influences visitor decisions to purchase from you or not. Put yourself in the shoes of buyers. Would you do the same before you contact the sellers? People are wary of paying someone for a gig because they are taking the risk of wasting money on a terrible service. So, getting positive feedback and maintaining 4-5 to five star ratings is an essential factor that helps in attracting more traffic to your gig page. You won't be able to buy your way through to get positive feedback. The only way to combat in this reputation building process is to earn by the service that you are going to offer. Focus on satisfying customers, where you can deliver good quality of work that is worth way more than what they've paid and target to win their heart at the same time. Over time, you'll accumulate a critical mass of positive reviews. Optimize your gig description to target your niche. First and foremost, you must pick a targeted niche and understand them. Do not aim for general service. Focus and be the best in the targeted niche that you've picked. Optimizing your gig description is essential, as this is the only way people can get to know about the kinds of services you are offering them. To pick a targeted niche, do some research on the hot keywords that visitors will usually search for on Fiverr. Without keywords, your gig will not show up for relevant searches by the visitors. Other than optimizing the text in your headline, use graphical elements in your gig description as well. Visual cues always create a larger impact than text. Hence, you can use graphical designs or even videos to introduce your gig. Take note, your video must always be congruent to what you're selling. Finally, the last method that you can use is to create your own advert campaigns. This is different from creating your own Facebook page or community in Twitter, as advert campaigns attract serious buyers. When you run advert campaigns on social media, you are directing paid traffic to your page. Paid traffic is normally more targeted than organic traffic. The platform where you can run advert campaigns are Facebook and YouTube. These would be the largest and best platforms to run your campaign. Compared to text advertising, video advertisement is more compelling, especially if your offer is graphic and video related. You can create a showcase on your work in video form and upload the video on YouTube to promote your gig. Besides running advert campaigns on the social media platforms, Utilize your own website as well. This is especially useful for someone who is already in the online business with a mailing list, whereby you can start an email marketing campaign to mail out your offers to your list. The subscribers in your list already trust you, so you don't need to break that hurdle. If you don't have a mailing list yet, you should start building one. If you do not own a website, you can do it through Fiverr. Just ask for an opt-in when users make a purchase on your service. 
Do not hesitate to do so, as growing your own list is definitely a must in online businesses. With a list in hand, you can always mail out your offers. Increasing traffic to your gig page will not be a problem. Getting 5-star ratings is essential to keep you as a top-rated seller on Fiverr. You will get a lot more features when you receive the status of top-rated seller on Fiverr. And the chances to get picked up by Fiverr to be the featured gig will be higher as well. This is why it's important to maintain your reputation and get at least 4-star ratings from each buyer that you've served. As a seller, you would not want to miss out on this module on how to get and maintain 5-star ratings on Fiverr. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start with the Fiverr's level, where all the basics are covered. It is important for you to know what the ratings that you need to fulfill are in order to move a level up. You are automatically categorized in the group of new sellers when you get started on Fiverr. Fiverr will lend you a hand when you get started. In this level, if you want to move up a level, you will need to maintain a 4-star rating and above. If you manage to do so, congratulations. You will then be upgraded to a level 1 seller. As a level 1 seller, you will obviously need to work harder in order to get into the pro league. In this level, you will need to maintain at least 4.5 star ratings or above in order to move a level up. When in the pro league level, you will need to fulfill 4.7 to 5 star ratings in order to receive the status of a top rated seller. It is not an easy process if you do not know the correct way of getting 5 star ratings. I'll show you how to do this in this video. Ready for something exciting? There are a few methods to maintain 5 star ratings. If you know the game well enough, you will definitely get the points that I'm going to say. You will not be rated before you complete any delivery, so the first order is the most vital job that will decide the starting rate of your profile. First of all, you must deliver good quality of work. Don't sell something that you aren't satisfied with. It can be pretty tricky to keep a 5-star rating as a seller on Fiverr, and delivering good quality work is a must. Also, don't be afraid to over-deliver. Run your Fiverr gig as if you are running a real business. Be courteous, and remember that they are your customers, not some random people who are merely buying something from you. Last but not least, build up a relationship with your customers. As mentioned, run your Fiverr gig as if you are running a real business. Customer service is a vital task and also a great lesson to learn. If you can maintain a good relationship with your customers, getting a 5-star feedback from them is not as hard as you think. Let's get into each section now. To be able to deliver good quality work, it is not your decision on the standard of good quality work. It is always about your customers. The key concept here is not how you feel about the work, it's about how they feel about the work. Always contact your customer earlier to deliver them the sample work. This will give you extra time to revise the work and do whatever is requested from them. Most importantly, do not treat this as freelance work. When you start to treat this as just freelance work worth just $5, you will not be able to deliver good quality work. Always think of this as an opportunity to improve your work. If you manage to keep this up, you can keep them as your long-term customers. People will always come back to you for your service because they have had good experience dealing with you. Don't deliver if you are not satisfied with it. This is the key to delivering good quality work. Set your standards to be slightly higher so that if you are satisfied with the end results of your work, your client is definitely going to love it even more. Over-delivering is the easiest way to make a buyer happy. If you've promised a 300-word article, write 350 words. Don't hesitate to over-deliver your work. In fact, you must deliver work that is worth more than what they've paid for. This is a great way to keep them as your long-term customers as well. In the industry of service, you can never run away from difficult customers. Everyone is bound to come across at least one impossible customer every once in a while. Sometimes dealing with difficult customers can burn away our patience, but let me tell you this, over-delivering is the best way to make them happy. You must understand that building up a relationship with them is the only long-term solution to get them to come back to your service. The only way to build up a relationship with your potential customer is through conversation with them. So, your profile picture plays a great role to cement your first impression. When you finally have the chance to start a conversation with them, acknowledge them by their name. 
Always remember to name them first before you move on to your content. People will always recognize your effort on remembering them by name, even though it's just a small part in the conversation, but it certainly creates a huge impact. Moving on to your content, be wise in the choice of words. This is especially important when you are dealing with difficult customers. Even though you might be getting impatient, you must keep your mind calm when you're dealing with them. Last, be responsive. Even though you may be running this as freelance, you must always check your mailbox. You must be responsive not only in terms of time, but also in terms of their requests. Always ask if you do not understand their request. This will solve the problem on any last-minute changes. You must have the best Fiverr gig ideas in order to sustain a good rate on Fiverr. Fiverr has a list of more than 3 million services on their site. In order to survive in this competitive platform, your gig idea must really stand out among the others. A super hot selling gig is good. A super hot selling gig which you can complete in no time at all will be even better. You can earn more than others with a gig that costs you lesser time than others. This will be most amazing for you if you are a result-oriented person because you can see results almost instantly. This is why niche research is essential. You can earn massive revenue if you pick the right niche. So I am not going to waste our time anymore. Let's get into the niche research. There are three big niches that have generated most of the sales on Fiverr, which are internet marketing, graphics, and video creation. These are the ultimate surefire niches. There is no ranking for them as they are equally hot selling gigs on Fiverr. You may see a trend here. These are the niches that are worth more than $5. Yes, this is the exact reason why they can be the best selling gigs on Fiverr, because people love to receive something that is worth more than what they paid. You can start by looking for something that you can offer under any one of these niches. Starting with the internet marketing niche, here is a list of services that you can offer as starters. The internet marketing niche is wide, and it can take up to hours just to complete the task. So, what you can do is brainstorm on the sub-niche under internet marketing that will not cost you much more time to complete. SEO keyword research is one of the services that you can offer for five. If you have basic knowledge about keyword research, you are good to go. Lots of small businesses and startups do not have their own marketing specialists to do this for them. So they start looking for services like this to deliver quality reports with lower costs. Besides keyword research, you can add on gig extras to stack up the order. You can offer domain name ideas and content writing services. Adding up other gig extras, you can earn up to $15 to $20 for a gig. Moving on, content creation is also a highly demanded hot service. What you can offer is a 300 or 500 word article and charge them $5. If they wish to have longer articles, they will need to pay another $5 to get a multiple of your gig. Do the same to add up a few options for gig extras, such as ebook writing for another $50. You can offer as many as you like as long as it's congruent to your service. Last but not least, you can offer them a squeeze page building service for $5. Building a squeeze page is not a difficult task. It may take you half a day or a full day to build it. This is because some of the internet marketers, especially newbies, do not know how to build a page. Let's move on to the next niche, the graphic niche. For the graphic designers out there, this would definitely be the right place for you. When you are wondering where to get extra income just by what you're doing, Fiverr is for you. Since there are lots of things that you can offer in graphics, let's just focus on three of the main ones on Fiverr. It is possible to earn up to $2,000 a month with the graphic-related gigs. First and foremost would be logo creation. Did you know that logo creation from a professional designer can cost up to thousands of dollars? And if you can offer a nice one with a lower price, why not? This is what makes logo designing the super hot selling gig at the moment. Creating a vector can be an easy job for you, but people are still looking for someone to do it for them. So this can be a great additional freelance that will not take much of your time, and at the same time be your second stream of income. And don't forget to add a few gig extras options in your order. Lastly, flyers designs. Tons of businesses out there need flyers and posters, and they are ready to pay you a good amount of money for it. 
Usually, one order can stack up to $30 easily with some gig extras. There are a lot more gig ideas that you can offer on Fiverr in the graphic niches, such as infographics, business card design, and the list goes on and on. Video creation is the third niche that has most of the featured gigs. Especially for internet marketers, they want videos like this and much more. Making a video is not easy if you do not have the right tools. Hence, outsourcing is the easiest way. The first choice would be offering to create a whiteboard animation. With the right video marketing software, you can easily make up to 3-minute whiteboard animations within a day. And you can charge them $5 for each minute, which makes up to $15 here. In addition, you can offer them a voiceover recording for $15. The calculation's easy. You can earn at least $30 with just a single gig. The second most popular video that most marketers need is a speed drawing video. This can be done easily with video making software as well, yet people are willing to pay for someone else's time to do the job for them. If you did not belong to any of the three niches that I've shown you just now, do not worry. If you belong to other fields and are still keen to start selling on Fiverr, here's what you're going to do. First and foremost, you can offer a voiceover service on Fiverr. If you are confident with your own voice, marketers occasionally need a certain accent to speak in their video. Here's when they will need to outsource this to someone else. You need not have a fully equipped studio to do this, just an additional microphone and a silent place will do. Apart from this, proofreading and editing services are very much needed on Fiverr as well. Proofreading and editing can be two separate gigs. It's easy if you have a good command of English. You can offer to proofread a 300 or 500 word article for $5. They will need to get multiple gigs from you if they need more. And then offer them a gig extra option to edit the article for another $5 or $10. Last of all, offer a translation service. If you are fluent in other languages, you can afford to offer this service on Fiverr. You can charge a little extra because translation needs more time than content creation and proofreading. Offer them a 200-word translation for $5. They will add up the rest. Optimizing your Fiverr profile is more than just for the sake of introducing yourself. Your Fiverr profile is more than just a place to show your face and showcase a few words to describe what you can do for them. It can be an essential part where you can convert interested visitors into your customers. Buyers have only one place to understand the sellers, which is through the seller's profile. It is a matter of trust. Imagine that you are in the shoes of your buyers. Will you still buy from someone whom you know nothing about? Your Fiverr profile gives you a place to build up trust between you and them. So without further ado, let's get started. Like what I've mentioned above, your profile is the only way for your visitors to know more about you. Your Fiverr profile represents the first impression. It is a part of you, thus it's important that buyers can get a real sense of who you are and what your passion is. If the first impression cannot grab their attention, the chances that they will come back to your profile are low. If you are a newbie who has just started the business, you can build up your credibility and reputation as your profile is new with lesser reviews and feedback. Be wise in the choice of words and profile picture. Profile pictures do matter for some people because the visual image creates a larger impact than words. Optimizing your profile creates a higher opportunity to start a conversation with potential customers. The key is to put yourself in the shoes of your visitors. You will need to think like how they think. When visitors are skimming through profiles, what are the things that they will take note of? And what is the main thing that will catch their attention? These are the factors that you will need to take into consideration. When you have the opportunity to have a conversation with them, chances that they will buy from you are much higher. So what are the things that you can optimize on your profile? Basically, there are six parts in the profile. The first part, and also the most vital part, is the featured gig that you use to present yourself on Fiverr. If you notice, the first thing that buyers can see from a seller is none other than the featured gig picture. So be wise on choosing which picture to be used to represent your gig. The next part will be the profile picture. Your profile picture may be a small part on the gig page, but it creates a huge impact to the visitors as well. I will explain more on these features later on in this module. Moving on, if they click on your profile picture, they will need 
Moving on, if they click on your profile picture, they will then be directed to your profile page. This leads to the one-line statement in your profile. There is a new feature on Fiverr which allows you to write a one-line statement under your profile name to describe yourself. The next part is the About section on your profile page. The About section is there for you to build up your reputation and credibility. Use it to tell your visitors about what you can offer them and what you're passionate about. On the right side of your profile page is where you can show visitors your bestseller package. This could be the same as your featured gig picture, but it may be different sometimes. Finally, one of the most significant ways to help sellers communicate more effectively with potential clients is through recent reviews and deliveries. Without further ado, let's move into each section. As mentioned, the featured gig would be the first thing the visitors will get to see before anything else. Regardless as to whether you are being featured by Fiverr or not, the featured gig picture will be shown in the research results. It will be the best seller gig offer that you have at that moment. When the visitors click on the featured gig, they will then be directed to the gig page. From there on, they may click on your profile picture to check out what else you can offer them. While the featured gig picture plays a role to represent your gig, your profile picture serves as the role to give them the first impression towards you as the seller. You must take the chance to cement that first impression towards your visitors. When you are filtering the pictures for your profile, choose the one that could represent you or your business. A profile picture that represents you will be best. They do not have any other way to see or know who the person who is dealing with them. The one-line statement is a short statement along your profile description. It can be edited on the My Profile page. Make use of this one-line statement. It is a great chance for the visitors to get to know you and trust you. When you are editing this section, think of the first statement that represents you. Write about what your passion is and who you are. Think of it as a way to brand yourself. In the About section, write a simple and clear description about you. You can include your sales record if there is any. Like I mentioned, this section is for you to build up your reputation and trust. Your sales records will be the most prominent thing that could build up the trust in a short period of time. Let the numbers prove your worth. There are other sections that tell the visitors about your service, such as delivery time, languages you speak, recent delivery, and so on. Some of the information will be filled in by Fiverr. This would be a good chance to give them more information about you. Be sure to convey the truth. Be honest to your visitors and do not promise them something that you can't deliver. That will definitely ruin the trust between you and them. The bestseller package is the small section on the right side of the page. It displays your most popular gig, gig extra, and gig description. This would be a great way to encourage increased sales. When buyers click on it, the gig page opens with a gig extra selected for them. When you get feedback from the other buyers, Fiverr will automatically display the feedback on your profile page. The buyers can see the reviews when they scroll further down your profile page. This would be the best thing ever, where you do not need to do the talking directly to them because the reviews will prove your worth. When you deliver quality work, people will come to you automatically. Positive reviews are like a magnet. You do not need to put in much effort to get buyers if you have plenty of positive reviews. This affects the purchase rate. It is important to keep track of your trends and sales as this would help you to improve your future gig. This will not be an easy task, but it is in fact an efficient method. Without further ado, let's get started. When you are on the dashboard of your profile, Hover over to the Selling tab and click on Analytics. As you can see, this is a rather new account, so there is no ongoing sales yet. But if you've been on Fiverr for quite some time, you will see that there will be some statistics here on this page. You will see how much you've earned this month, the orders you've created, the average selling price, and your positive ratings. These four options are on the top of the page. The next thing that you'll need to take note of is the statistics below. You can see the rate of getting new orders, gig extra orders, multiple orders, and delivered orders as well. When you scroll down further, you will see the statistics about your reviews. You will also see the reviews from your customers in general. Moving on, when you scroll down to the bottom, you will see how many active gigs you have, 
page views by your visitors, gigs saved, and the conversion rate of your gig. You will also be able to see the progress needed in order to level up your profile page. And that's all there is to it. It is advised that you keep track of your trends and sales once in a while in order to make sure everything is fine and to find more methods to improve your work.